Hi! In this tutorial, you will learn how to locally build Stride and use it with your game. First, let's go over the prerequisites. On the Stride GitHub repo, you can find what is required. From git-scm.com, download Git, the version control management system. From git-lfs.github.com, download large file support. From visualstudio.microsoft.com, download Visual Studio 2019. From the link in the readme, download the FBX SDK for the newest version of Visual Studio. When installing Visual Studio, Make sure that the following components are checked. .NET Desktop Development with .NET Framework 4.7.2 Desktop Development with C++ In particular, version 142 Build tools for x86, x64 as well as C++ and CLI components Windows 10 SDK and .NET Core cross-platform development tools. After installing all the prerequisites, you will now want to clone the Stride repo. Open your terminal and put in the git clone and the URL of the repo. Then open Visual Studio and select Stride Solution from the folder Build. Once the project is loaded, you can build Stride by selecting the Game Studio project and clicking Build. This may take a while. The build may fail the first time, but don't worry, run it again and it should succeed. When the project has been built, you can now open the Stride Launcher. Select the locally built version from the drop-down box. It's the one without a build number. Click Install. Now you can start the locally built Game Studio from the launcher. If you already have a project and want to use the locally built packages for debugging purposes, you need to change the referenced version in the csproj file. Now you can step into methods provided in the stride packages. You can also open any source file from the Stride solution in your game solution and set up a breakpoint. This way you can debug Stride to better understand it or to find a bug. If you have any problems, check out the Stride Discord server and ask the community for help.